how helpful is it as days in non-contact to get guys ready for it for the contact? They just can't come out and start hitting the first day. Oh, I don't think it has anything to do with getting ready for the actual contact. I think it just has to get you, it gets you a, some assignment work down. So right. at least when the contact happens, hopefully you're, hopefully the contact is with the right leverage and in the right location. What are your thoughts about the safety group so far? Oh, like I said, um, you know, obviously we get a lot of work of running around and trying to cover routes and and where we're supposed to be in zone coverage. So, uh, you know, we got quite a few guys who have got significant reps under their belt. We're just trying to identify the the top six, and then within that, the top three who you know who deserves to start. More specifically, with that group, you had Jackie Matthews in the spring, and I know camps are starting and all. But uh, what were you able to tell with Jackie, and, and, and what steps does he have to take forward this game? Yeah, we just got to get Jackie a lot a lot more reps, being comfortable with the assignments, so it's second nature. You know, you watch, he had a really good spring. You know, we played corner some of West Virginia. Obviously, we played on the slot, the nickel too. So. Uh, feels really comfortable in man coverage. Obviously, we, we like him in that scenario. But uh, if you want to be multiple, right, which is the the buzzword on defense, you got to be able to mix coverage, fronts, looks, blah blah blah. And so, uh, a lot of that stuff takes reps. So we just got to we just got to get him more reps. What you have you thought of D Cam so far? Uh oh, sorry. What have you thought of D Cam so far? D Cam probably the most consistent worker on the team. Every day is approach. So we love what we see from D Cam. You mentioned reps, and of course, year three with you and a lot of guys at a lot of spots on the defense had a lot of reps. How much do you see maybe some of these older guys teaching some of the younger guys and, and kind of showing them the ropes a little bit now that they've been around you for three years? Oh, you certainly see that. Obviously, we got a lot of good guys in the program. They want to try to bring the youngsters up to speed as fast as possible. And then, you know, when you got vets who've got a lot of reps also, you can, you know, you don't really do install, right? You just come out and say, all right, we're calling whatever, and you should know how to handle it. So that's, that makes it pretty fun. Can that help you go further faster when you're talking about a finite number of days before first game when you've got guys who've had a lot of reps, the expectations there kind of? I think so, but then when I go watch the film after the first scrimmage, I think we're doing way too much and we don't do anything very well, so. But it's an annual mistake. What's it like <laughs> having this kind of experience coming back on the D-line? You want veteran experience, uh, right. particularly in this league. This, that's the area you want it. Yeah. Jalen Green last year was just coming in as a transfer. He's got that year under his belt. Do you see kind of a different uh, persona from here on him, or a different way that he kind of handles himself this year opposed to last year at all? Well, I think it's just what we were talking about with Jackie, right? I mean, he's, you know, he come in, didn't have a bunch of reps, so you're, anytime you're thinking a whole bunch, it's hard to be real fast and confident. And obviously now he's got a whole year of experience, uh, you know, so he knows what we do. So uh, he's, another, he's another guy like DK, man. Shows up with the right approach every day, focus on trying to get better at something. And, and obviously he's much more comfortable, so there's less thinking. and. It allows your natural ability to shine through a little bit. Not to get you in trouble with the NCAA, obviously, but when, with the emphasis on safety, cutting back contact days to 18. Uh, you can have 75 minutes contact during a contact day and just two scrimmages. How does that change the approach to coaching defense, which is so much of a contact kind of sport? Uh, I mean, you know, obviously with with the amount of time and resources invested in major college football now, you're, you know, you're, you guys are. You, Pretty much in shape year round. Now, obviously, football shape's completely different. Getting pads on, so you got to hit enough to get used to the bumps and the bruises and the, you know, the aches that come with playing football and yet still being able to play football. Uh, so you got to work. You got to work that into shape. But you know, obviously, we got to, uh, Coach Brown and his staff does a phenomenal job. Our guys come into camp in shape, and so uh, it's not like you're starting from ground zero. I think uh, Jet has. First year you were here, might have had like one tackle. And then last year he was just such a huge part of your defense in the run game. How, how much did you see him grow from that year one to year two? And what, what was it that really kind of set him apart in those two years? I think if you ask Jet, he probably just a bad evaluation by me and you got kept on the <laughs> sidelines way too much that year. He had one tackle. So, uh, yeah, should have been had him out there a lot more. Has he, have you seen him kind of take a leadership role or has that been who he is? Uh, yeah, just like this, it's back to that same one about DCAM and I mean, Jets to show up and just get to work kind of guy and do my job. And so uh, it typically leads to the kind of success he had last year when you have that approach. How much has Cameron Young matured in the couple of years since he's been here? Uh, I don't know, physically, you look at him, you'd probably say he's the most physically mature guy we got on this team. So uh, that's what you want in there at nose guard. <laughs>